This tutorial is designed to teach you how to access the catalog inside of GCSS Army. Before we get into the lesson, there are some key points that need to be discussed. The first key point is that the catalog is broken down by views. So what that means for you is that you have to select a different view to see the price of that item, to see the art code of that item, if it's expendable, non-expendable, durable, etc. This is different from the catalog in PVIS, LIW, or FedLog. The second key point is that GCSS Army is driven by transaction codes. This is different from PVIS. The transaction code Mike Mike 3 is used to access the catalog in the system. From the unit supply menu, we're going to type in the transaction code MM03, but you can still access this transaction code from your unit supply menu under reports. We press enter. So we're going to type in the NIN of the item that we would like to see the catalog information for. But if you look at the select views button, that is where you would select the information that you're used to seeing under one section using the previous catalogs. Again, in MM03, your catalog is broken down into views or sections. So we're going to talk about the views that will give you the same information that you're used to seeing in the previous catalogs. So we're going to take this NIN out and replace it with the one we want to see the information for. Press enter after you're done. Press enter again. So the first view that I have selected here is the basic data one view. That tab will give you your basic information like what this item is. For this example, we're looking at chem lights. We see the class of supply, class two item. We see the art code to let us know that this is an expendable item. We even see how much these chem lights weigh. So the basic data one view will give you the basic information that you're used to seeing about this particular item. We can press enter. This brings us to the purchasing view. The purchasing view will let you know how this item is ordered. If you look at the ordering unit, these chem lights come in a box, but it has a base unit of measure or of each. So that lets you know that you can issue these as each or you can issue them how they're ordered by the box. So if you want to know how many chem lights come in a box, you'll need to select the additional data button at the top. Select the units of measure. And now we can see that there's 50 chem lights that come inside of a box. So this will better help you understand or manage your orders in Mike Bravo 21 or MB21. MB21 is where you order your operational or basic load items inside of GCSS Army. So we're going to select main data to go back. We're going to press enter. And this brings us to the Plant Data Storage 1 tab. This tab helps you understand expiration dates, shelf life, as well as condition codes associated with a particular item. So we're going to come down to the Condition Management section. I'm going to click the Search Help. Scroll this over to the right a little bit. So we see that this has a condition management of 2. So since this item has a condition management of two, the short description says it's condition management with the batch number. So what that means for you is that this item will expire, meaning it has an expiration date associated with it. So either use it or rotate it before it expires. If you see the condition management only, or condition one tab in there or code in there that lets you know that particular item it only cares whether it's serviceable or unserviceable and if it's blank it's not managed by the condition at all so we can close this press enter this brings up the plant data storage to view in this particular scenario, 
this view will not serve a great purpose to us because of the serial number profile. The plant data storage too lets you know or helps you understand whether an item gets an equipment record associated with it or not because it's either serialized, has components, or requires maintenance. So the serial number profile is blank here because an equipment record is not associated with chem lights. But that will be pertinent or relevant if you are talking about a non-expendable item, especially your property book items, helping you understand whether you get an equipment record or not associated with that item. The good news is your serial number profile is now in display mat sit. So if you pull up the sub hand receipt and the primary hand receipt in the system, you can see the serial number profile column there to let you know whether you get an equipment record or not associated with that item. So the last view that we're going to look at for these chem lights is the accounting to view. This gives you the standard price of that item. So these chem lights cost roughly around $39.35. So the standard price information is located on the accounting to view. We're going to press enter. Exit. We're going to select yes. We're going to do another example here. So we're going to take this NIN out and type a new NIN in. Then we're going to press enter. Enter again. So now we're looking at the basic data information for this truck cargo M1083A1. So this is a Humvee. We see that this is a class 7 item. We see that this is a non-expendable item. We also see how much this Humvee weighs. We can scroll this report down a little bit. And then the NPO field at the bottom of the screen, we see the LIN number, Tango 61908, and we see the NPO number that's assigned to that particular LIN or line item number. We press Enter. And now we're looking at the purchasing view for this particular Humvee. Of course, we see the base unit of measure as each. We can press enter. This brings us to the plant data storage one view. So we see a condition management of one. We're going to click in there, select the search help. Scroll it over to the right. And again, just another quick refresher. If you see the condition management of one there, that means it cares whether this item is serviceable or unserviceable. So condition management one for this Humvee, is this Humvee serviceable or is it unserviceable? Your Humvee will not expire. But if you see the condition management two there, that lets you know that item does have an expiration date or shelf life associated with it. So we can close out of this, press enter. So now this brings us to the plant data storage two view and this view is relevant to you because it helps you understand whether you get an equipment record or not. So as we can see, this serial number profile field is not blank like it was for the chem lights that we looked at previously. We see the code GA03 listed there. So we hit the search help. And this gives us an understanding on what these codes mean. So again, if it's blank or you see GANO, you do not get an equipment record inside of GCSS Army. You can close out of that. You can press enter. And this brings us to the accounting to view, which gives us the standard price for this Humvee. So if you ever had to process a statement of charges, flipo, et cetera, this would give you the standard price for that particular item to let you know the value of that particular vehicle. This is a little bit over $184,000. So we can press enter, exit. So MM03 will provide you your catalog it's just broken down into different views versus being in one section like you're used to seeing in the PIVAS catalog, LIW catalog, etc. 
but it will give you that same information that you're used to seeing. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful.